Okay, so I am at 516 Windsor Street and you could see from here, you could see Scott Lake Elementary, not Scott Lake, um, Southern West, Southwest Elementary School. So it's on a very, very quiet street. And then this is the front of it. Nice picket fence. This is three bedrooms, two and a half. Aluminum siding, there's a shed in the back. So I'm walking up to the front. So there's some cracked steps, but nothing that can't be fixed. The porch is really, really cute. There's two doors. So maybe at one time this was a duplex, not sure. Walking in nice french doors that need painting so let me just see walk in you have a whole bunch of windows so the whole house needs to be painted the ceilings aren't as tall as finny so this is the dining room right here when you first when you first walk in. This, I would recommend this wall be opened up a little so you can see the kitchen. Kitchen is very, very tiny, but really nice cabinet. Nice farm sink, nice window. And then there's beadboard up on the ceiling. I can't get my Anyway, so this is like a little breakfast room with built-ins. This is the laundry room with stackables. This is a bathroom that's been all renovated. Look at this built-in. So cute. But I would take this whole wall down, save that built in, and then just open all this up into this. Well, I was gonna say this is a dining room, but make this a family room and have this all opened up. And then you can have the dining room right here as soon as you walk in. So then here, not sure what this room is. See, I think this was like an apartment or something. Okay, so here's a formal living room with a fireplace. So that's if you walked into the other door that we saw with nice French doors. And then this is the master. with a nice big, no, this is a half bath with a nice big closet. So big closet. Here's another big closet. bedroom up here 
the master is up here. Can you share a bathroom? And then there's a little storage area. So there's two bedrooms upstairs that share a bathroom. And then there's another bathroom down here that I thought was the master, which it isn't. But then it has a big closet. And that's the other bathroom with no shower. So the layout is just kind of weird but it could be really cute. Because if you opened up the kitchen there and then had a big family room here and even open up this, I would just open all this up and have this all open. Okay, and then let's go see the shed. I mean, it needs work. It could be cute if you can take down all those walls and just open it all up and then save the kitchen cabinets and then redo the kitchen. Okay, so let's see if any of these keys open up this. Okay, oh, okay, so this is the garage, not a shed, sorry. This is a one car garage, which is like brand new. It's very nice in here with a workshop. You have room for exercise equipment. Okay, and then this is the backyard. We have another little shed. It's all fenced in. This is on a pretty big lot. This is on oh, 0.22. It seems nice. I mean, it seems bigger. Okay, so this is the backyard. It has a cute little gazebo, and then that hot tub they're taking down. The back porch needs a little work. But it's a very cute backyard, and it's all fenced in. Nice new air conditioner. So this home is located on the other side of South Florida Avenue. So the way I went was I went down Edgewood from Hardin Boulevard, and then I made a left on Eden, and then I made a right on Windsor. Okay, so let's look at the street. Look at this big oak tree, but it's not overhanging on the house. I love the way the porch curves around. Okay, so this is the little front yard with little 
window box planners. How cute is that? Look at those windows. How cute are those windows? The siding looks like it's in really good shape. It just needs painting inside and maybe taking down some walls. Okay, so this is Windsor Street. That's Palm Palmetin down there, Palmetin Drive. But look how cute this street is. And there's sidewalks on either side. So you can run down here and then run down to Lake Hollingsford, no problem. Very cute homes out here. And again, right next to Southwest Elementary. Okay, let's go see this neighbor's house.